Alright, so I was asked for a Turbo 4G63 swapped into a second gen MR2. So you like SW20s, huh? I'm gonna build you a 4G63. Yes, this is automation. Yes, you can use these motors in the Seto, and I'm gonna show you how. You guys don't know what automation is? This is the pretty much ultimate engine builder. You can build whatever engine ever existed or just what's in your head pretty much in this game and the power levels are actually comparable to real life. This one, we're gonna go all out. So I'm gonna use a stock four, two liter, 4G63. We're gonna make it, we're, we're gonna tune it as hot as possible. All right, so we start off with the inline four, got it here. We have a cast iron block, I believe. We're gonna go with a, the bore, which is the size of the piston is 3.346 inches. So we'll type that in. Then we go over to the stroke. I don't know why that changed, but we can change that afterwards. Stroke should be 3.46457. So hopefully that stays. Now, because we have the turbo flowing more air, we're able to upgrade the cams. Um, so now we're running, what, 730 horsepower. When I tell you we're on the bleeding edge of power, there is no other adjustment I can make to this right now that would make it um, better. And anyway, let's get this thing out of here and inside the car. And this is where I'll show you how everything changes. This is the part where everyone always asks questions about. So we go in car designer once we're in automation, AI car generation, random car, generate AI car. And now we wait for AI to build us a car. It's not gonna matter what it looks like. You just gotta know that it exists. All right, so here we have our test bed for the 4G63. This thing does not, we're not gonna talk about it. We don't even worry about this. You go to the bottom, go to engine family. Sorry, you go to engine selection. You click existing engine and then you click your family one variant one that you picked. Double click on it. You pretty much speed run through all of that, but since the car is done, you shouldn't really have to do anything. You click export car, you click agree to whatever it says. You this is very important. You gotta name the car something that you know you'll remember. So we're gonna name this 700 4G63. Press export car. It exports that. So the only thing this is not gonna do is transport the engine sounds just yet. Um and you'll see why. All right, so after that exports, you're safe to go and close automation, but just take a look at that intercooler sticking out the front there, Jesus. So now we're gonna open a special program. So we have a program here called Engine Crane. Engine Crane is pretty much exactly what it says, it's Engine Crane. So pretty much, you're gonna wanna put your set of course to install path and your BeamNG mod path because we actually exported the automation car to BeamNG. Okay, so now you have that, you wanna take the name of your car, the actual name, the one that's inside the folder that you wanna put the motor into. This is gonna take a while, so you're just gonna have to bear with me while I find it. All right, so we're using this particular MR2 right here, HK51P1 spec, and you wanna go into it and you see 700 4G63 here. I've made a couple other engines in my time, as you see. So we have it here, existing engine weight, we don't know. But that is something we can look up. Literally, all we're gonna do, press swap. Now, you go on a content manager, you click the car that you just engine swapped. It should have some errors on top. That means it worked. I don't know exactly how the gearing of this car is gonna be, but we're gonna hope that it's good. Yeah. 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 As we drive this, I just want you to understand, this thing is fast. Yeah, it's fast. It's fast. Oh, oh, no, 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 no snap over steer. Oh, we didn't upgrade the clutch, did we? <laughs> the horror. <laughs> oh, that was a bad idea. Don't die. No, no, we, yeah, you would be dead right there. You would be dead. Oh, nope, you're alive. You're alive. You, you're stuck to see another day. Keep in mind, stock block, 4G63, a medium, medium sized turbo, that looks like a bear or a moose. Say hi to Carl, that's our dead moose on the side of the road. You know, it's scary when the speedometer is moving faster than, than your, your RPM meter. It's very scary. <laughs> Alright, the on-ramp here. All right, boys, we're gonna send it. No, 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 nope, nope, not like that. Ooh. I didn't stay in it, guys. I didn't stay in it. 
Oh, God. This seems oddly reminiscent of my 370 video. Oh. What was that sound? <laughs> oh. oh, no, we're dead. Alive. We're alive. We're alive. That was all clutch.